Welcome, welcome. This uh, this is town of Valley Head. See the railroad there and that, uh, that building. See if I can make it a little closer there. That's an old southern plantation there. I get to quit shaking so much. It's old southern plantation called the Wilson House. And uh, there's a railroad track. This is a uh, switching uh, track here where the trains uh, can meet each other, take a break. Buildings here used to be a lumber company, CNH Lumber. And you see the railroad stores some stuff here. Here's the uh, what's left of the foundation where the hardware store used to be. It was a nice building back in the day. And of course, like I said, when they put apartments in it, it went long after that till it burnt down. There's those lumber mill buildings we were at. What I was trying to do here, there was a uh, black cemetery. I hadn't been up here in years. This used to be a paved road. Of course, it's, can't see no signs of it now. But up about where those pine trees were at was a, a cemetery where the uh, slaves that worked at that plantation were buried. This road looks like it's used quite a bit. Yeah, there's a cabin here. Looks like this driveway, the road is used to go to that cabin. You can you can kind of see there where the road used to go straight on. I know the last time I was up here, this was a paved road. It had begun to kind of grow up, but it looks like the road. Uh, you can't even tell it even existed anymore. I'm going to walk up it a ways and see if I can find that old cemetery. It's amazing what happens in time. There was a paved road going up this way. And now you can't even tell that it ever existed. scrap wood and stuff in this ditch. <clears throat> I've been w walking quite a ways. I didn't remember it being that far up here. Of course, I drove up here the last time I was up here, and this was a was a paved road. But you can't even see unless these blue gravel are part of it. You can't even see no signs of a paved road anymore. Kind of taking a curve here. Seems like I remember the, it taking a curve and kind of going up a hill.
here is the end of this so-called road. So this is, I remember that cemetery was up on a hill. And you know, it looks like there might be a tombstone out here. Of course, I remember there was a lot of tombstones. Yeah, there is a tombstone. Oh, I see one. I see a tombstone over there, too. Wow. Yep, I see some tombstones. There's, there's some more little ones over there. Well, let's see what it says on here. Jimmy Winston, April 25th, 1873, died January the 14th, January the 14th, 1971. Notice his last name is Winston, and that plantation house is named Winston. See those? Can you see those graves out through there? Now this, the last time I was here, this was actually a cemetery, and looked like a cemetery. They begin to be some trees grow up, but. Uh, it's, uh, if it wasn't for these tombstones here, you wouldn't even know this was a cemetery now. You'd think it's just a woods. Here's a few here. I bet there's a lot of graves here that didn't have tombstones. Died 19, 19, 1909, six years old. It's Martha Bray, I believe. It's probably right, because there are some people around here named Bray. Yeah, you know, I barely can, can read that. Looks like they died in 1908. I guess anybody, if they didn't mind getting burnt up, they might well be cremated because as time goes on, there's nothing left anyway. Here's one that fell over. 19, died 19 and 14. OS. Williams. I didn't remember the cemetery being this far up here, but of course I drove up here the last time, and like I said, it was a paved road. 1926. Now you know, they wouldn't have spread these graves out this far. There's, there's graves all up here. And they were probably slave graves and they buried them with nothing but a rock or something. And there's no sign of it now. March the 23rd. She's 19, I don't know, 40 something.
Yeah, there's probably probably people buried everywhere here. These are just the ones that were lucky enough to get a a nice tombstone. This looks nothing like it did the last time I was here, which has probably been, geez, 40, 40 years ago or something. Died uh, 1942, and they were looks like Winston. So all these graves belong to that uh, southern plantation down there. Sometime I have been through that plantation. Uh, sometimes I can ask the guy if we can take a tour of his sometime. I was just there walking around one day and he uh, said we could go in and look around. See, see these are Winston's. August the 9th, 1938. It says father there and mother. Albert Wilson. Dad, age 54. He just put his age there. I am sure these are probably, well, I don't know for sure, but they're probably black people. And you know, they took on the name of the plantation owner a lot of times. I don't know that that's the case, but I, I would imagine it probably is. And this is probably all all graves here. They just didn't have any any nice markers. Well, I'm glad it came back up here again. Uh, if it wasn't for these markers that are here, uh, anybody would just consider this woods and uh, somebody will wind up building a house here or something not even knowing that there was a cemetery here at one time because you can't tell it except for these few markers that are here oh there's there's some more some more tombstones out here so this was a fairly good size uh, well i see some more back over in there too so this was a Fairly big size cemetery. Mother, father. 19, died 1930, 1927. Born 18, 40. I'm not sure, 41, maybe. I knew they was, the last time I was here, there was a lot of graves. There's some uh, back up in here. back over here too. I bet you this whole hill is people buried here. Can you imagine if there wasn't no markers and somebody bought this property and started digging around here. They'd get a surprise. Oh, died May the 16th, 1937. Devonport. Hmm. They was Devonports that lived here 
and had slaves also. I graduated with a couple of Devon ports. And of course they were black, but I'm sure they uh, took the name of their slave owners. This is Devonport here, 1942. Here's one. See, it just had a had a marker. Never put up a tombstone. Amazing. Okay, it's a pretty good walk. I'd say I walked uh, more than a mile to get up here. And they put the cemetery up here on a hill. And I remember it had a paved highway road come up here to it. And I imagine it was kept up until everybody died or moved off. If I had any relatives here. And that's the end of that. Well, I'm going to walk back down. I'll pause y'all until I get further down. Because it was just a... Just a dirt road walk up here. But somebody had kind of kept it mowed. But it looks unusual to me because uh, it was a paved road all the way up here about 40 or 50 years ago. Now look at it. You can't even tell there was ever any pavement here at all. In fact, if somebody wasn't mowing this, he probably wouldn't even know there was a road up here. Well, I'm going to take my walk back, so I'm going to pause you. Because I know you don't want to look at this old dirt road all the way. Look and see where we're at. Uh, there's a pine trees. Looks like somebody set out in rows. But look off over there at the uh, hills and mountains. Uh, this, this mountain over on the left, uh, above these pine trees, that's Lookout Mountain. But, I mean, we're way out here, away from everything. I can't tell it here, but you can barely make out that there was asphalt here at one time. If I had to guess, up there was that cemetery. All this land here at one time was cotton fields that belonged to that plantation house, the Wilson house. Of course now, it's mostly just pine trees. I'll give you another look at how desolated it is here. Normally, I bring a gun with me, but I, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was going to be this far out, of course, I don't think there's nobody around. That cabin that we came up was probably the closest thing. But, uh, you know, this is, you still don't like to be caught off like this without some type of, type of weapon. At uh, one time, this property had sold and they had signs up down on the highway. They were going to build a rustic uh, homes or cabins here. But then the, uh, the Bush year recession came along and that all died out. They had already started down there in the town of Valley Head of building an office, a sales office. All they ever got was the foundation. It looked like somebody planted pine trees here to harvest pine trees at some point. Just about back out uh, to the part of the road that had been being used that went up to that cabin. Pretty good little step up here. I'd have probably drove a truck or something up here if I'd have. Didn't remember it being that far. Pretty good walk. The pine trees. There's that cabin back through the pine trees. Well, we're back to pavement. 
you know, back to a little bit of civilization. It's back down where this lumber company used to be. There's that foundation. There is the Wilson house. That brick house behind it, the mayor lived there in that house. And then a few years later, he uh, kind of fixed up the other house and moved it in, in hit for a few years. Uh, they use it for a bed and breakfast now. See if I can get a little closer. You can see some of the old barns are, are still there. Wilson Plantation House. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, just trying to get the Winston House in the background. Looks like I'm going the wrong direction. But anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, uh, remember to hit the subscribe button and You'll know when I have another video on. Thanks for watching.